For 30 days, I rode my bike instead of driving my car. I thought it would be easy because I live in Los Angeles and the weather is always perfect here. It is an historic storm. Rare blizzard warnings in LA. The weather wasn't the only challenge I'd face. The bike needed to do more than just take me to work and run some minor errands. You see, there's no laundry in my building. So I needed a way to transport 25 to 40 pounds of clothes from my house to the nearest laundromat, which is a mile and a half away. My high performance road bike is fast and light but it can't handle heavy storage requirements like that. And since I've spent over $8,000 on that bike, the idea of locking it up outside while I spend 30 minutes grocery shopping, well, that gives me a panic attack. So instead of that, I stole a bike, specifically one of my parents' specialized hard rocks from the 90s. One Christmas morning long ago, they surprised us with bikes for the whole family. This holiday season, I gave my dad my old gravel bike and I took his old bike home and called up Nolan from Bike Sauce. Am I committing an atrocity by taking this bike into something that would be like the LA equivalent of a Dutch okay. bike? I'm not sure what a Dutch bike, like what makes a Dutch bike Dutch other than being Dutch. <laughs> this is our Dutch bicycle. It's an Oma Feats, literally grandma bicycle. The concept was take the best parts of a Dutch bike, durability, storage, comfort, and merge them with the best parts of a mountain bike. Big tires and easy gearing for going all over the LA hills. It all came together one rainy LA morning when Nolan worked his magic and birthed a Dutch mountain bike baby more beautiful than I could have ever dreamed. You're beautiful. Check out Nolan's video to see the full bike build. There's a link in the description. I could not have done this without him. Please show your support by heading over to his channel right after this. Now that the bike was built, the experiment could begin. 30 days of doing car stuff with a bike. So I've been on my inaugural ride today, really enjoying it, but I've already noticed a couple things that I need if this is gonna replace my car. First and foremost, you'll notice there are no racks. The only storage on this entire bike is right there, the water bottle holder. To solve the storage issue, I added a front and rear rack and put a specialized cool cave pannier, pannier, however you say it. I was delighted to see my backpack fit perfectly inside. Like right inside that pannier, pannier, pan. Over the 30 days, the bike helped me knock all kinds of errands off my to-do list. We took packages to the post office. We went grocery shopping. I might have overshopped a bit and even took my dog Vivian for a ride. Yeah, so one thing I learned from the last trip is that I should have a bell while I'm riding around because yelling at people is not very fun. So I have three options. Val's gonna help me pick one. I think it's cute and I think it kind of matches. Okay, how would you rate the noise? Belly. <laughs> I think it also matches with the bike. It does match really well with the bike. That's the, a... the vibe is, is the right vibe. Yeah. Similar. Similar. I want this one. <laughs> okay, so what's the verdict? Which what? one's going on mine? Which one's going on yours? I think one. All right. This one's going on yours. It's so easy. I think it's cute. It's yeah. Like pastel-y. Yeah. And Great. that's Bells with Bell. <laughs> of course, the biggest errand of all was laundry, and it didn't help that I kept putting it off. Eventually, the day came where I could no longer avoid it. Before we do laundry, though, I have a confession. My wife and I only have one car, and since I work here at home, she takes that car to work almost every day. So, going 30 days without a car honestly wasn't that difficult for me. In fact, Riding this bike immediately made my life better. As a level 99 hermit, aside from my training rides on my road bike, I rarely left the house. But over the last 30 days, I found myself going outside, trying new coffee shops, even riding the bike for fun, instead of focusing on my performance. Also fun fact, we're on Sunset Boulevard right now. At that light back there, a couple of weeks ago, I came to a stop at a, at a red light, I turned to my right, and this guy on his scooter, just stopped. He's like, watch out! I look over, and it was Jack Black. Anyways, that's what you get to look forward to riding a bike in LA. Who doesn't want to run into Jack Black? I was starstruck, didn't say anything, 
he rode off into the distance like the majestic man that he is. I can only hope our paths cross again one day. Turns out, bikes are fun. I kind of forgot about that because I'm always using them to like make a video or train for a big ride or go on a big ride that's type two fun, which is actually pretty miserable in the moment. How deflating is that? This bike reminded me sometimes you can ride just to ride. Uh, nothing like adding an extra 20 pounds to your bike, huh? Let's go do some laundry. <laughs> we made it. Okay, here's the deal. I have like 30 minutes. Do I chill here or do I go get a treat? Yeah. really chill. It was kind of nice just to get outside. I wouldn't have gone outside today otherwise. I would have just driven the car. The only time outside would have been that like little moment between the car and going in the laundromat. Let's review the bike a little bit, right? How has it performed over the last month? These big cushy tires have done really well on these roads. I mean, look at this bike lane. It's not really a uh, pristine, beautiful. Look at that, look at the size of that crack. Storage-wise, it's great. I've got my entire backpack in here. My laptop, my camera, some hard drives. I think that one of the hard things about LA is, especially in East LA, there's so much like up and down. For the average person, that can be pretty, you know, daunting. But with an e-bike or with a massive cassette like what I have here, it's totally doable. One of the nice things is that uh, because nobody bikes here, there's always a place to lock your bike. Is this bike going to 100% replace my car? No. LA doesn't have that kind of bike infrastructure. I wish it did. But it has replaced my car for certain errands, like doing laundry. That's right. Even outside of this challenge, I'm still doing laundry with this bike. I'm gonna try something new here at the end of this, uh, this video. And first I just wanna say, thank you for watching all the way to the end. I'm gonna try to give you all something special at the end of every video. A little housekeeping first, don't forget to watch the build video on Bike Sauce's channel. For those of you who are regular viewers of the channel, you may have noticed like I haven't uploaded a video in quite a few weeks. And that's because I've been traveling all over the world. New Zealand, Australia, Miami, the Whiskey Tango Fondo in Alabama Hills yesterday or two days ago. On Saturday, I'm heading to Bolivia for some really exciting projects there. Those are my excuses. There may be another like short delay uh, of like a week or two before we're back to regularly scheduled programming. But again, I just wanna thank all of you that have subscribed, that liked the video, that comment. I feel really lucky to be able to do this. And here's a little sneak peek of one of the steep climbs from my time in Australia. And uh, I stared at the ceiling for about five minutes last night wondering if I should just get on the next plane back to Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, it cut to me dying. Queensland, got you, mate. Yep. <laughs>